We are in an ingenious wireless access point. This is an EAP300, but it could be any model that you want. And I'm going to explain the operation mode for an access point. So if you click on the left-hand side under system, uh, where it says uh, operation mode, then you'll see these system properties. Now, your model might look a little bit different, but that's okay. That all means the same thing. So the operation mode options here are access point, WDS, and repeater. And if you click on WDS, you actually get another access point option. So there's two different access points here. The first access point is going to be your default. That is if you have a single wireless access point and you don't want to have any other access points associated with this particular one. It does all the security itself. It does all the authentication and authorization. And that is going to be the default for most of your home versions of your ingenious wireless access point. If you have a second wireless access point, then you can choose the WDS and choose access point here. What that will do is it will find the other wireless access points in your home or business, and they will end up acting as one access point. So you don't see multiple different SSIDs, uh, which is the name that you give your particular network. So I'll explain what these other ones are in other videos, but that gives you an idea of what the access point operation mode is with the ingenious wireless access point.